Okay, I wanted to make a quick video to introduce a, a new feature in XLights in 2019.44, which is support for a range of controllers that come from a company in the UK uh, called Synchrolite. Um, and we've introduced uh, support for um, both the USB attached serial uh, type controllers and also their Ethernet pixel controllers. Um, enabling you to uh, sequence in X lights and then uh, outputting either directly from X lights or via X schedule uh, drive those particular controllers. Um, at this point in time, it does not support um, FPP, so uh, you can't play the Synchronite protocol, Synchronite protocol out of uh, FPP, but you'll be able to do it out of X schedule um, in the meantime. Um, so let me quickly run through how you do it. Now, uh, this is based on some reverse engineering, which means that you know it, it may not be perfect. Um, uh, feedback that we receive from people that actually have the boards and who can actually try stuff out is really, really important in helping us to uh, get to the uh, bottom of any problems. And if you reach out to us, um, we may ask you to do some traces and whatever else to help us understand what's going on. So let's start with the serial controllers. Um, uh, to add a, a serial controller, it's this add USB. Um, you would come up to here and choose the Synchrolite uh, serial protocol. Um, uh, you can give it an identifier. It doesn't matter as long as it's uh, unique. You would obviously choose the port that it's connected on. You choose a speed. Um, uh, I believe it seems to default to this. Um, and then you'd specify the number of channels. Now, um, the way this works is, um, as I understand it, the serial boards have got an ID and um, eight ports on it. So if your controller is uh, controller ID one, then you could just allocate eight ports and that would be enough to drive that controller. If you had an eight, a one and a two, which is 16 ports, you'd obviously need to make this 16. Now, if you had a one and a three, um, then you're going to need to allocate 24 ports, even though you're only using 16 of them, because it, it's basically the unit ID um, minus one times eight um, is the number of channels you need to allocate for the maximum unit number that you happen to, or device number that you happen to be using. Hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. Let's just add a single uh, here. You can give it uh, um, a description and click OK. Um, and that's added eight, an eight channel controller. Now, um, I, I'm sure most of our Synchrolite users are not XLights users. I'm not gonna go and do an elaborate explanation, but let's do something really quick just to get you up and running. Uh, by far the easiest way to do that when you're just using something like this serial controller is to throw down what we call here the channel block model. Um, and if you come down here and just allocate eight channels, um, it will create those eight channels. And then when you start a new sequence and you start to sequence it, um, if you open up the channel block model, there are the eight channels and you can start to uh, sequence away to your heart's content. If you're used to sequencing that way in Synchrolite, you may want to come up to the view um, and turn on the AC toolbar and put it into AC programming mode. Um, maybe add a timing track, maybe a, a metronome. Um, I think most of them are uh, a tenth of a, um, a second. So you could set up that, it creates you a set of timing marks and you can come in here and just like you would in Synchrolite, you can come in and say, uh, I want an on ramp up and, you know, and then I want to ramp down and so forth. Um, Oops, it would have helped if I had highlighted it first. So yeah, anyway, I'll, I'll let you play with it. There are videos about AC mode, how to do it, all that sort of stuff. I'm not gonna go there right now, but that's how you would set up the controller. And then to test it, it literally is as simple as pressing on the output to lights button. It will connect to the controller and hopefully it will send the data and it will all work uh, swimmingly well. Um, you can also uh, go into test mode. Um, we're going to get an error here because I don't actually have a serial controller connected or anything. Um, 
uh, and then you can come in here and you can just click on this and uh, if you put it on alternate it should flash each alternating channel so you can see whether it's working and if you go into test mode you don't even need to create a sequence just to see whether it's working so that's the serial um, protocol uh, to add the uh, ethernet protocol little obscure not to be honest not a lot of people have it so um, have the Synchrolite, so I'm not going to add it as a sort of a first-rate protocol out here, but you get to it just by right-clicking over here and going to add and choosing the Synchrolite Ethernet. If you happen to be on top of a, a thing, it will actually come in as an insert after, but same thing, you can add it and add a Synchrolite Ethernet. Now, the way this works is a little bit different than our other controllers, and that's because of the way the protocol seems to work across the wire. So first of all, you do need to give it an IP address. So you need to put in the IP address of the controller um, that you've previously set up. Uh, the port number here is the pixel port on the controller. So, you know, in the case of I've got an eight port um, Synchrolite controller that someone sent me, you, you have to set it between a number between one and eight. And uh, the data that you're going to put into this particular uh, section is, is going to output to that particular port. Um, now, you do not need to define ports that you're not using. So if I wasn't using one, but I was using two, I could put it here. And then I could say the number of pixels that I have defined on it. Um, and again, give it a description and say, I don't know, this might be a, uh, a single line um, uh, a model that we're going to put onto this particular port. Now, this does not in any way circumvent the licensing or whatever that's on the board um, and you, know, you can't set um, the licensing etc in x lights you will need to continue to use the Synchrolite software to use that if you've licensed the board for only a limited number of channels then it doesn't matter what you do here um, obviously the board is only going to recognize the data that it's going to recognize so um, this does not in any way change the capabilities of your controller and you will still need to set it up and allocate the ports on the controller as you would using the Synchrolite software but at this point here, we've defined an output with 100 pixels on it, like so. Um, and then, you know, and this is once again, you know, you're going to want to get into, um, uh, get in and watch some of the videos on X-Lights. But let's imagine we're going to put a star on that. So I've got a 50 pixel uh, star here. Let's make it 100. Um, and let's make it a multi-layer star. So let's make it a 50, 30, and a 20 layer star like that. And now we need to put it onto the Synchrolite controller. And given the way this works, probably the easiest way to do this um, is to come down here to the start channel and um, uh, put it on that controller, which is that single line we call it a single line, but that's the actual output port that it's going to be on, like so, um, up here, and it shows that it's on that particular output. Um, so at this point, I could again go up into test mode, or again, I could go and create a new sequence. And in this case, I could obviously do something a lot more elaborate, something like a, a bars effect or something. Um, would help if I had more than one color selected. And uh, once you turn on output to lights, it should actually be outputting lights to that controller. And if your pixels are plugged in and turned on, they should all start to work. Um, to add your other ports, you would, of course, uh, come back here and add more of these uh, Synchrolite Ethernets, one for each output port on your controller. Um, please don't add multiple with the same port. That's clearly not going to work and will introduce probably flashing as it tries to process the data for two different um, props on the same port and obviously it will look very crazy. Um, no doubt this will get better over time. Um, as I said earlier, um, feedback on success or lack thereof is useful in helping us to um, improve the support and uh, bring x lights to um, uh, some more users in the UK who have uh, maybe got some legacy investment in these Synchrolite boards and they'd, they'd really like to uh, get the most out of them or run a mixture of Synchrolite boards uh, with uh, newer controllers like the, the Falcon or the SAN devices and the like, which, uh, which are, uh, are you know, a little bit more economical and, uh, and very capable. So thank you guys.